Are we ready for the word? I don't know how to introduce Reverend Adichimo. I don't know how to. Um, I'm overwhelmed because there are, there are moments when you meet people and you just get sucked in into their persona, their grace, and the anointing of God. I will use this opportunity to, on behalf of the body of Christ, I guess, to say thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being a blessing to us um, globally. Can we make it bigger? It's beyond, this, it's beyond this gathering. Thank you so much. Now celebrate yourself. You may please be seated. Becoming a woman of wealth. And of wealth or a woman of wealth and wealth wherever I speak generally please men borrow a leaf even though it's a conference but the word of God is for everyone last Saturday I launched my own perfume line I didn't come here just to preach. I came to show you that it's possible to be a Deborah and be a Jaya. And to still have a home. I am truly happily married. Even the devil knows it. I'm a marriage counselor. One of the top most reasons... Why marriages have problems is money. Your husband is not El Shaddai, else he shall die. <laughs> he cannot meet all your needs. As a woman, you need to wake up. The illiterates of the 21st century are not the people that cannot read or write. They are the people that cannot unlearn and relearn. And there are things and tables we need to start shattering in the body of Christ. Reverend Yemi, come. Have you had it over and over and over and over again? Behind every successful man is a woman. How many of you have heard that before? Stupid demonic statements. Show me that in the Bible. Behind when God was going to create you as a woman, he didn't take the bone from your back, the back of the man. He didn't take from the feet, he took from the side. This is your worth. You are not behind, you are beside. Stay there. And stop hiding your worth. Stop hiding your worth. Every man is a psychologist. That's why they treat you badly. That's why a man tells you until he sleeps with you, he cannot marry you. Rubbish. Because you don't know your worth. You were not created from the bad, you were created. And those of you that are fathers, start teaching your girls to know their worth. Hug your girls. Spend time with your girls. Stop saying, go to your mommy, go to your mommy. Pump confidence into your girls. Create time for your girls. Prepare your girls for destiny and for marriage. Was it not Jairus that went to Jesus on behalf of his daughter? We are at the fathers. If we stop hosting and holding women's conferences, we have done enough. We are at the men. Who is talking to the men? We prepare our girls for marriage, but who prepares the boys? Cook very well, give your husband sex, behave, kneel down to greet. But excuse me, it takes two. Women, I came here 
here today to inspire you. We are not praying that you should become because you are already are. Amen. So the woman of God is saying is a process. Begin to reveal it. You have worth. You have wealth. You may not make perfumes. Let me shock you. Reverend, today is Sunday, 30. At the end of October. November 6th, I'm back in school. Full time. To study law. And I'm not going to stop until I have a PhD in law. Because a time comes when I can no longer run around preaching. Yeah, me and Bim boy invite me and I'm saying, the Lord bless her love. <laughs> I'm preparing for the evening of my life. I want to be able to teach and any man that touches a woman in a way that is not good, we shall meet in court. <laughs> Reverend, I told myself, Olufunke, you will live till you die. That's my intention. I've decided not to live or die as a woman. I'm going to die as an institution. I'm going to be 60 in three months' time. 60. And by God's grace, I've already built a small house for lepers that I'll be dedicating. It's one of the things I'm going to be dedicating. I have a ministry towards lepers. Take care of their food, their beddings, you know, and all that. It's not for self-aggrandizement. I'm here to inspire you. So that, it's not that you are just reading Deborah and Jael. I'm showing you one. It's possible to be married, to have children, to have nine grandchildren, to be 60, and still be impacting your world. All this sitting down, singing by the rivers of Babylon. See, what well, my husband, there will be no fight, no quarrel. Because you have wealth and you have wealth. It is a disgrace to Calvary not to show your wealth and your wealth. Somebody should go to bed thanking God for you. Some years ago, my husband, God averted an accident. And we came to church to do the Thanksgiving. I carried a big offering in my hand. And one of the widows walked up to me, stood by my side in front of the altar and said, excuse me, ma, you cannot join our club now. Who will be taking care of us? Who will be paying our children's school fees? Forget it. Your husband cannot die. We are prayer covering you. I burst into tears. You came to church today to be inspired. Throughout this week, throughout this year, I want my voice to be ringing in your head that your daddy and your mommy, your spiritual parents brought a woman to church to inspire you, to tell you that you can be anything, you can do anything, you can have anything to the glory of God. The people that are in the front, they don't have two heads. Some of you, your life is too crowded, too many friends. So you must explain and explain and explain. People that matter don't mind. And people that mind don't matter. Sometimes it is lonely at the top. But I prefer, like my papa, Baba Yodepo will say, I prefer to be envied than to be pitied. This is why I came today. As I was checking into the hotel yesterday evening, I saw a young, you know, a set of twins. So yeah, they said, Ma, today's our birthday. We just, we just clogged 1,000 followership on Instagram. They did video. I posted it on my page. I've never met them. True Debras will find the others to flame. We tell you, I made this mistake. Don't make it. Face front. Don't listen to criticism. You can do it. It's on your inside. Stop fighting with your husband. Stop putting your life on hold till somebody marries you. Marriage does not complete you. 
if you are an incomplete single lady, you will meet and marry an incomplete single man and you will have an incomplete marriage. No man is looking for a liability to marry. Who says you cannot own a house because you are single? Let's begin to shatter these tables. Enjoy where you are on your way to where you are going. It's possible for you. Somebody looked at me, like two or three of them actually, and said, this is the Joyce Mayer of Africa. I said, no, I am not a Joyce Mayer. I am a Funke Felix Hadejumo. We don't need two Joyce Mayers. I'm comfortable in my skin. I still have 10 minutes, but I don't want to go into my notes. Stand up, let us pray, John. I want to pray for this first set of people. You want to give your heart to Jesus. Please say this after me. And church, please say it with them. Say, my Father and my God, I come to you today as a sinner. Please forgive me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. Today, I am saved. I am born again. I thank you, Lord, for hearing me. For I have prayed in Jesus' name. Now, everybody put your right hand on your chest. I stand as an apostle, raised, commissioned, and anointed and blessed by God. And I pray for you today. Move into your next season. The destiny helpers you need to introduce you. I decree that they will locate you. What you have been looking for will start looking for you. There is something called the favor of God. Mm. Ah, I describe it as the impartial partiality of God. Let it find you in the name of Jesus. This will be your best Christmas. God, the God of the Bible that called me and that I represent will lubricate your life. He will simplify your destiny. He will amplify your voice. And he will fortify you. Whatever you are trusting God for, marital destiny, financial breakthrough, to fulfill your purpose, visas, whatever that is the effect of the blessing. In this service today, receive in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless and keep you. And cause his face to shine upon you continually. He will bless your children too. And the works of your hands. And no matter how cheap evil is, you will not be able to afford it. No matter how tough nations are, you will continue to live in Goshen. And this year shall end for you on the note of celebration. I bless you with the blessings of the womb and the blessings of the breast. Receive it in the name of of Jesus. Every sickness, I destroy your root in the name of Jesus. Get ready in this house for emergency thanksgiving. Your mates will not leave you behind. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I have prayed. With permission from Reverend, I bought, I, I brought, I think maybe five, five bottles each or something, or a few. I'm going to be outside. I'm in business. I just finished preaching. The Jael. And you know what? I'm teaching you. Reverend Jerry is a bot yesterday. You know what I told her when, him when he said, Mommy, that's what he calls me. Where can I order? I said, Mommy, they carry the perfume for my head. Order here. Some of you, you are too ashamed. You're too ashamed. 
You will not go to your salon. 11 a.m., you are still at home. Praying in empty tongues. Bapa, cha, cha, cha. Even heaven is asking, what's he saying? When you should be at the shop. When you should be sewing. Somebody did something for me and I said, ah, this is too much. He said, mommy, bread me lens on wolf. Which is true. God, bless me. Make me a woman of what? We get to your shop. Everything is scattered. There are salons I will never go to make my hair. Excellence. We have prayed for you now. Go and walk. I'll be waiting for you at the table to sell my perfume. 